Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times Newsroom, and here's what's happening in today's printed edition of the Brazil Times. People see different things from a car window. Some just see buildings, while others see a need. Mary Trisha's travels took her past the Head Start offices on West Jackson Street in Brazil. Each time she looked at the building, a thought formed in her mind. Trisha is the founder of Broom Tree Ministries, a nonprofit organization that provides food through a backpack program and other services. One day, Trisha looked at the Head Start building and said, There are children in there who need us. She spoke with Peggy Eppert, executive director of Head Start, and learned one of the program's federal guidelines is to provide two-thirds of the daily nutritional needs of some students. So when they are not here on weekends, that's a big gap for parents not used to feeding them the extra calories, Eppert said. Federal guidelines also prohibit Head Start from raising money to send food home with children, Eppert said. Trish and Eppert decided that Broom Tree Ministries could meet some of those needs. And so Head Start started benefiting from Broom Tree Ministries' efforts to uh, buy food and send them home, with, send the food home with the children. And you can read more about that on page one today. Also on page one, summer camp is in, even though school is out for the summer. The YMCA summer camp is underway at Forest Park Elementary School. It's from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, for 11 weeks through August 2nd. The last two and a half weeks of camp will be at the YMCA, so maintenance crews can be sure the school is ready for the fall. About 90 students are attending the camp this year, said Director Becky Sinclair. Some of the students arrive at 6 a.m., others come in through the day, and not all will attend all 11 weeks. There are 25 to 30 people on staff. Licensed teachers are recruited from Clay and Vigo counties to tutor students, reinforcing what they already know. I don't want the children sitting with a book or pen and paper all day. This is summer camp. They love experiments. They love blowing things up. They love that, Sinclair says with a laugh. The early arrivals get to color sheets or play games and are joined by the counselors. At 7.30 a.m., breakfast is served, and from 9 to 11 a.m., the students are in classrooms. After lunch, the kids get to decide if they will go to the Forest Park playground or pool, depending on the weather. I'm all about choices, Sinclair said. Kids are having a lot of fun there at the YMCA summer camp, and you can read all about it in today's edition of the Brazil Times or thebraziltimes.com online. Authorities are investigating a single vehicle accident Monday night that caused utility outages for many residents in an area northwest of Brazil. Clay County Sheriff's Department Chief Deputy Josh Clark confirmed the accident was reported shortly after 8.30 p.m. He said a motorist whose name is not being released at this time due to the ongoing investigation crashed after leaving the road in the area of North Meridian Street near uh, Private Road 1050 North. The vehicle ended up in a ditch and destroyed at least two utility poles, causing the outages. Also in today's edition, a boil order has been issued for customers of CenterPoint's water utility, said Seanette Seckley, the town's water superintendent, on Tuesday. The order was caused by a two-inch water line break on County Road 600 North. The boil order will be in effect until further notice, Zeckley said, and we will bring you up to date on that as uh, new information becomes available at uh, thebraziltimes.com and on our social media sites. So be watching Facebook and uh, Twitter for that information as well as our website. Inside, we have Clay County through the years, and in that future feature today, Lewis McNutt, founder of Clay County's Farm Bureau, and he is featured, and let's see here. Oh, we've got some cute, cute animals. The Clay County Humane Shelter is uh, featured inside today's edition on page two, and all kinds of really, really cute puppies that can be adopted at the Clay County Humane Shelter. You'll have to look at those puppies and see if one of them just doesn't tug at your heartstrings. Carrie Fox, our sports editor, has a feature on the new basketball coach at Northview. Northview High School recently announced Michael Byram as the sixth coach 
to lead the Knights boys basketball program. Byram had been an assistant coach with former head coach Clint Weddle for the past three seasons. First of all, it is an honor and a privilege for me to be the next head boys basketball coach at Northview. I would like to thank Mr. Mock, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Fritz, Mr. Buell, the rest of the administration and the board of trustees for the opportunity, Byron commented. I would also like to thank Coach Weddle and Mr. Simpson for bringing me to Northview three years ago. And finally, I would like to thank my wife, Jennifer, my daughter, Stella, and my daughter, June, for all of their support. Words cannot describe my excitement about this opportunity. And we have more sports for you inside. Got to check out my kids. Got to check out my kids on the entertainment page. Dennis the Menace. Uh, looks like uh, Dennis and his dad's been going fishing. And Dennis is holding up a nice size fish and talking to his mom. And he says, Dennis says, no, actually, some fisherman gave us this because he felt sorry for us. So, okay. That's the way I get most of my fish too, Dennis. So I understand that. And then, uh, let's see here, Billy. Billy, the oldest boy in the family circus, he's showing a Band-Aid on his knee to his buddy, and, and Billy says, it was bigger than a boo-boo, but smaller than an injury. I keep telling my wife that. It's not really an injury, it's just a boo-boo. I don't need to go to the doctor. I keep telling her that. But, you know, she, she doesn't always listen. And let's see, on the back, congratulations to Great Dane. Great Dane Brazil was recently honored for receiving the 2016 Truck Trailer Manufacturers Association uh, Plant Safety Award in the Large Plant category. Great Dane Brazil has won the Large Plant category seven of the past nine years and overall has been honored with the TTMA, Truck Trailer Manufacturers Association Award, 14 times since 1979. And we've got a couple pictures uh, from Rotary. Uh, some handsome dude passing out uh, a check to, uh, actually two checks, to uh, uh, scholarship winners. So you'll want to check that out. Just ignore the guy on the left side of the picture. Look at the kids on the right. You'll be, you'll be better off. Okay? Okay. Now, looking at our website, we have uh, a couple updates for you. July will be a busy month for program offerings by the Wabash Valley Genealogic Genealogy Society in Terre Haute. On Monday, July 10, WVGS will offer a program titled A Guided Tour of Cindy's List 2.0. And the presenter will be Cindy Engel, the renowned genealogist who maintains a vast internet resource site for genealogy research. And let's see here. The Church of Our Lord Jesus will have a food giveaway from 1 to 3 p.m. on June 24th. The church is located at 708 East Hendrick Street in Brazil. For more information, contact the church at 446-3110, uh, 446-3110. And remember that boil order is in effect until further notice for customers of Center Point's water utility. And we have our weather forecast for you right there on the front page. Be sure and check it out. Wednesday, slight chance of thunderstorms, high 89. Thursday, chance of thunderstorms, high 86. And by the way, uh, that weather forecast is updated from the National Weather Service regularly throughout the day and throughout the night. So it's always the most up-to-date weather forecast in the Wabash Valley. Hey, I'm Frank in the Brazil Times Newsroom. It's good to see you today. Hope you have an outstanding day, and we'll catch you later.